okay in this question we have to draw the reflected wave fronts so first of all we will draw the direction line and uh, the direction line should be make uh, it should be making 90 degree angle with the wave fronts and when the line of direction uh, touches the barrier at that point we will draw a normal and here you see we have drawn a normal that normal makes 90 degree angle with the barrier and then we will check what is the angle between the direction line and the normal and it's uh, I think 70 degree so this is the angle of incidence the angle of reflection on the other side should also be 70 degree so here we mark it so the angle of reflection is also on the other side is is 70 degree we have marked it this is the direction line for the reflected wave fronts the angle of reflection and the angle of incidence they both are 70 degree so now we will put this protector on that uh, reflected uh, direction in such a way that the crosshairs of the protector and the 90 degree mark they both remain on that reflected uh, direction then we will move the protector so you see when the flat side or the straight side of the protector uh, becomes in coincides with the uh, wave front there i will draw you see we are moving we move it such a way that the 90 degree angle mark and the crosshair of the protector they are on that reflected ray and when the straight side of the protector coincides with the wave front there we draw a line and those drawn lines will be sh will be showing uh, reflected wave fronts so it is enough there are three wave fronts we have drawn and this is how we draw the reflected wave fronts we hope that you have understood this so thank you very much have a good day god bless you okay in this question the water waves are approaching uh, in an area where the water is shallow and uh, we know that when the water waves will enter in shallow waters the wavelength will decrease their wavelength will decrease and the speed will decrease their frequency will remain unchanged so in this question we have to draw those wave fronts so you see these wave fronts they are in the deep water here is the shallow water so when they will reach in the shallow water we will draw here wave fronts and those wave fronts will have smaller gap between each wave front the gap between two convective wave fronts represent the wavelength and in the shallow water the wavelength is smaller so we will draw let's draw and you can see my student has already marked points because he wants to work very accurately so she has uh, uniformly or uh, she has marked the points on that worksheet on equal spacing the space between convective wave fronts should become you see they should be on the full diagram okay so you can see yeah yeah so you can see that in the shallow water we have drawn the wave fronts because uh, the boundary between the shallow water and the deep water is parallel to the wave fronts that's why the direction of the wave fronts has not changed and you can see that we have drawn four wave fronts here the distance between convective wave fronts is smaller so you can complete it till this point so i hope you will be able to this uh, do this so thank you very much ji have a good day god bless you